Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have number six today. Uh, we are multiplying binomials by binomials. This is a little bit advanced. Uh, usually, I think we might do this first in grade 10. But uh, if you're here, you made it, let's give it a go. Why not? Uh, let's write out a little uh, acronym first that I know helps me. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this method. It's called the FOIL method. And what FOIL stands for is the first terms, the outside terms, the inside terms, and the last terms. So let's do an example, and this will be here, and we can use it. Let's go. The first one is 4v plus 6 minus 8v minus 3. So the brackets are right together, which means we're multiplying this binomial by this binomial. And essentially what we need to do, another way to look at this, is that we need to multiply everything by everything. Everything in the first bracket needs to be multiplied by everything in the second bracket, and this is a way to do that. So we are going to multiply the first terms. The first terms would be 4v and minus 8v. So that would be minus 32v squared. 4 times minus 8 is minus 32. v times v is v squared. We're going to then do the outside terms. That would be these two, 4v and minus 3. So that would be minus 12, 4 times minus 3, and we bring the v along. Inside terms are next. I for inside, so that's 6 and minus 8v. So that would be minus 48. We bring the v along. And then our last terms, our last terms would be 6 and minus 3. That's just minus 18. There are no variables to bring along. And we have one last step, is then to combine our like terms. And usually, most of the time, it's going to be the two middle terms that are the same. So minus 32v squared, minus 12v, minus 48, that's minus 60v, minus 18. Okay, and that would be our answer. So stick with the foil, um, stick that in your head. Do the first, the outside, the inside, and the last, and that is the best way to go. Let's do some more problems. Minus 7n minus 1 times minus 8 plus, minus n plus 8. The first terms multiplied together, minus 7 times a minus 1, that's just 7. n times n is n squared. Outside terms, minus 7 times 8, that's minus 56. n just comes along, because there's nothing to multiply it by. We have the inside terms, so minus 1 times minus 1 is just positive 1 and then the n comes along. And then our last terms, minus one times eight, that's just minus eight, no variables to bring along. We're going to combine our like terms, which again is our middle ones. We've got seven n squared. Minus 56 plus one, that's uh, minus 55 n minus eight. All right, let's do another one. If you have questions, stop me when you see me. Be like, what are you talking about? Minus 7a plus 6 minus 6a plus 2. Multiplied together. So we're doing the first terms. Minus 7 times minus 6, that's 42. We get positive numbers when we multiply two negatives. And a times a is a squared. Minus 7 times 2, these are the outside numbers of FOIL is O. So minus 7 times 2, that's minus 14 when the A comes along because there's nothing to multiply it by. Inside terms, we have 6 and minus 6, that's minus 36, and the A comes along because there's nothing to multiply it by. And then our last terms, that's 6 and 2, that's plus 12, and there are no variables to bring along. We bring our inside terms together. This is 42a squared uh, minus 50a 
minus 14 minus 36 is minus 50 plus 12. Let's do another one. And then we've got two more after that. You can pause and give it a go if you're feeling confident. Minus r plus 5 in brackets. 2r plus 1. First terms, minus r times 2r, that's minus 2r squared. Minus r times 1, that's just minus r. 5 times 2r, that's 10r. 5 times 2 is 10, we bring the r along. And 5 times 1 is 5, we are going to combine our like terms. Minus 2r squared plus 9r plus 5. Minus 1 plus 10 is plus 9. So yeah, pause it if you're feeling confident and give the next ones a go. Otherwise, we're going to do them right now. Minus x minus 3 minus 6x plus 1. First terms, we got minuses, so it just becomes positive. That's 6 and x squared, x times x. Minus x times 1, that is just minus x, one single x. Minus 3 times minus 6, that's plus 18, and the x comes along. And minus 3 times 1, that's minus 3. We are going to go ahead and combine our like terms in the middle. That's 6x squared minus x plus 18, so that's plus 17x minus 3. First, outside, inside, last, and then you are combining the like terms. Often they are in the middle to get our final answer. And when we're multiplying binomials, it's almost always, is it always? It's almost always a trinomial. Watch this next one not be just to prove me wrong, but it's pretty much always a trinomial. 6 times 4 is 24. n times n is n squared. 6n times minus 4, that's minus 24, and the n comes along. 5 times 4 is 20, and this n then comes along. And 5 times minus 4 is minus 20. We're going to combine our like terms. 24n squared minus 4n minus 20. Hey, if you have questions, please let me know. Stop somebody else, one of your friends, somebody who's on this lesson as well. But thank you very much for watching, everyone. I will see you soon.